Welcome to this video on mathematics and linguistics, the structure of language. In this video, we will explore the fascinating relationship between mathematics and linguistics, and how they are interconnected in the structure of language. Language is a complex system of communication that allows us to express our thoughts, ideas, and emotions. It is a fundamental aspect of human existence, and it has been studied by linguists for centuries. However, what many people do not realize is that language has a mathematical structure that underlies its grammar and syntax. Linguistics is the scientific study of language, and it seeks to understand how language works, how it is acquired, and how it is used. Mathematics, on the other hand, is the study of numbers, quantities, and shapes, and it provides a framework for understanding the world around us. The relationship between mathematics and linguistics is not immediately apparent, but upon closer inspection, it becomes clear that the two fields are intimately connected. In this video, we will explore the ways in which mathematics and linguistics intersect, and how this intersection has led to some fascinating discoveries about the structure of language. So, let's dive in and explore the fascinating world of mathematics and linguistics, the structure of language. Language is a complex system that consists of sounds, words, and grammar. It is a system that allows us to communicate with each other and convey meaning. However, what many people do not realize is that language is a mathematical structure that underlies its grammar and syntax. The mathematical structure of language can be seen in the way that words are formed and combined to create sentences. For example, in English, we have a set of rules for forming plurals. We add an s to the end of most nouns to make them plural. This rule is based on a mathematical concept known as addition. Another example of the mathematical structure of language can be seen in the way that words are combined to create sentences. In English, we have a set of rules for creating sentences, such as subject-verb agreement and the use of prepositions. These rules are based on mathematical concepts such as logic and set theory. In addition to these examples, there are many other ways in which the mathematical structure of language can be seen. For example, the way that sounds are combined to form words can be analysed using mathematical models. The frequency of words and the patterns of their usage can also be analysed using statistical methods. The mathematical structure of language is not just limited to spoken language. It can also be seen in written language such as the way that letters are combined to form words and the way that words are arranged on a page. In summary, the mathematical structure of language is a fascinating area of study that has led to many discoveries about the nature of language. By understanding the mathematical principles that underlie language, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity and beauty of this essential aspect of human communication. In the next segment, we will explore the ways in which linguistics and mathematics intersect in the study of language acquisition. Language acquisition is the process by which humans learn to understand and use language. It is a complex process that involves many different cognitive and linguistic abilities. However, what many people do not realize is that language acquisition also involves mathematical abilities. One of the ways in which mathematics is involved in language acquisition is through the use of statistical learning. Statistical learning is the ability to detect patterns in the environment and use those patterns to make predictions about future events. This ability is essential for language acquisition because it allows us to learn the statistical regularities of language. For example, infants are able to detect the statistical regularities of speech sounds, such as the frequency of certain sounds and the patterns of their usage. This ability allows them to learn the sounds of the native language and distinguish them from other sounds. Another way in which mathematics is involved in language acquisition is through the use of syntax. Syntax is the set of rules that govern the structure of sentences in a language. These rules are based on mathematical concepts such as logic and set theory. For example, children learn the rules of syntax through exposure to language. They learn to recognize patterns in the way that words are combined to form sentences such as subject-verb agreement and the use of prepositions. In addition to these examples, there are many other ways in which mathematics is involved in language acquisition. For example, the ability to understand and use numbers and quantities is essential for learning certain aspects of language such as counting and measuring. In summary, language acquisition is a complex process that involves many different cognitive and linguistic abilities, including mathematical abilities. By understanding the ways in which mathematics is involved in language acquisition, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity of this essential aspect of human development. In the next segment, we will explore the ways in which linguistics and mathematics intersect in the study of language processing. Language processing is the ability to understand and produce language. It is a complex process that involves many different cognitive and linguistic abilities. However, what many people do not realize is that language processing also involves mathematical abilities. One of the ways in which mathematics is involved in language processing is through the use of computational models. 
computational models are mathematical models that simulate the cognitive processes involved in language processing. These models allow researchers to test hypotheses about the nature of language processing and make predictions about how people will process language in different contexts. For example, researchers have used computational models to study the way that people process sentences with their ambiguous meanings. These sentences can be interpreted in different ways depending on the context in which they are presented. Computational models have helped researchers to understand how people use contextual information to disambiguate these sentences. Another way in which mathematics is involved in language processing is through the use of neural networks. Neural networks are mathematical models that simulate the way that the brain processes information. These models allow researchers to study the neural mechanisms involved in language processing. For example, researchers have used neural networks to study the way that the brain processes speech sounds. These models have helped researchers to understand how the brain distinguishes between different speech sounds and how it processes speech in noisy environments. In addition to these examples, there are many other ways in which mathematics is involved in language processing. For example, the ability to understand and use mathematical concepts such as probability and statistics is essential for understanding certain aspects of language processing, such as the way that people make predictions about the meaning of words and sentences. In summary, language processing is a complex process that involves many different cognitive and linguistic abilities, including mathematical abilities. By understanding the ways in which mathematics is involved in language processing, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity of this essential aspect of human communication. In the final segment, we will explore the ways in which linguistics and mathematics intersect in the study of language evolution. Language evolution is the process by which languages change over time. It is a complex process that involves many different factors, including cultural, social, and linguistic factors. However, what many people do not realize is that language evolution also involves mathematical principles. One of the ways in which mathematics is involved in language evolution is through the use of evolutionary models. Evolutionary models are mathematical models that simulate the process of language change over time. These models allow researchers to test hypotheses about the factors that drive language change and make predictions about how languages will change in the future. For example, researchers have used evolutionary models to study the way that languages change in response to contact with other languages. These models have helped researchers to understand how languages borrow words and grammatical structures from other languages and how this process affects the evolution of languages over time. Another way in which mathematics is involved in language evolution is through the use of phylogenetic methods. Phylogenetic methods are mathematical methods that are used to reconstruct the evolutionary history of languages. These methods allow researchers to study the relationships between different languages and to understand how they have evolved over time. For example, researchers have used phylogenetic methods to study the relationships between different Indo-European languages such as English, Spanish and Hindi. These methods have helped researchers to understand how these languages are related to each other and how they have evolved over time. In addition to these examples, there are many other ways in which mathematics is involved in language evolution. For example, the ability to understand and use mathematical concepts such as probability and statistics is essential for understanding certain aspects of language evolution, such as the way that languages change in response to demographic factors such as population size and migration. In summary, Language evolution is a complex process that involves many different factors, including cultural, social, and linguistic factors. By understanding the ways in which mathematics is involved in language evolution, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity of this essential aspect of human communication. We hope that you have enjoyed this video on mathematics and linguistics, the structure of language. Thank you for watching.